In today's show, I'm going to be showing you how to use the X-Ray in Helium 10 Chrome extension, and I'm actually going to be doing it with Brad Sutton from Helium 10. He's going to walk us through how to use it to get the most benefit out of it. So let's just jump right into the interview. Bradley, welcome to the show. Hey, how's it going? Well, let's, before we get started in the Helium 10 suite of tools, let's jump into who you are, where you're from, and then what you do for a living. Sure. Um... Uh, I'm a sumo wrestler. I oh, know I'm just fine. Actually, I used to be a sumo wrestler, That's but awesome. uh, I don't do that. Never did that for a living. That was just for for for, uh, for fun. But uh, I'm the director of uh, training and customer success here at Helium 10. And before that, I was a consultant for Amazon sellers, and I launched over 400 products uh, using Helium 10. That's how they discovered me because I was just like anybody out there. I was I was on the other side of uh, uh, of the page there, um, you know, working in the trenches on listings and things like that. And so. Uh, I would always frequent their their Facebook groups and and they're like, who's this guy always uh, talking about our tools and stuff? They're like, they invited me up and and then the rest is history. Nice. Do you still have brands that you sell on Amazon? No, I actually never did. Um, so like I, I've I sold a wholesale uh, on Amazon before, but all of those 400 products that I launched was all for other people. You know, so I'm a little nice. bit weird in that sense. You know, people will always be like, man, you could have been like a millionaire. Why didn't you do it? But I was like, for me, I was just happy getting paid, you know, I was paid decently, you know, to do what I did. And, and yeah, I knew there's no, there's a lower ceiling, you know, because I didn't have ownership in the products that I was doing. But at the same time, there's a lower floor, you know, uh, if something happened to that risk. person or their account got suspended, didn't matter to me because uh, I still got paid the, the same amount. So, so, uh, you know, there's, there's different models, you know, I know a lot of people just want to have their own thing and have full control. But, uh, but that, for me, the consultancy way was, was the way to go. Yeah. And I, I have both. So we have our Amazon PPC agency and then we have our, you know, our brand and there's definitely benefits to going both ways, but that's not what we're here for. Let's jump into the Chrome extension and x-ray tool. Um, it's one of your free tools with Helium 10 and I feel like I know how to use it, but there's always things that I might miss. So if you don't mind sharing your screen and just kind of walking us through the Chrome extension and the x-ray tool. Sure. Let me uh, go ahead and share here. All right, so you should be able to uh, see the screen now. Let me just go to Amazon. So why don't you give me something to search for? So um, let's do aloe soap. <laughs> aloe, A-L-O-E? Yep. And All right. So, so the first thing uh, that I point out uh, that happens when you, when you have the Chrome extension installed, let me see if I can actually get fancy here and write on the screen. Here we go. All right, so the first thing that you will see um, is the, these like little widgets. So once you have the Chrome extension installed, whenever you're in Amazon, like new things are gonna pop up that you didn't have before. So without having to go in on the page and look for the, the BSR and what category and what subcategory is in, you'll see that up here. You'll see the ASIN right here. So you can just like, you know, if, if you already know you wanna start researching it, you wanna copy the, the ASIN, you can do that right there. Um, you'll see who currently has, or last time we checked the buy box, you know, if it's FBA, if it says AMZ, you know, that means it's shipped and sold by Amazon. Uh, and it'll tell you how many sellers are currently selling that, how many are competing for the buy box right now. And then it even has a little uh, button here that we'll, I'll, I'll show you guys in a little bit that talks about how you can, uh, you know, see at a glance how profitable you could be uh, selling that product. It's called the profitability calculator. The, the thing that I think most people know the Chrome extension for is X-Ray. So what X-Ray is doing is it is giving you uh, kind of a broad overview of what's going on on the first page of these results. And I can go to the second page if I wanted to, but most people want to just you know uh, look at the first page. And the kind of things that you're going to see here on the X-Ray page, for example, you're, you're going to see the search volume, the estimated search volume monthly. So that means that Right now, according to our numbers, is about 500 people uh, who are searching for this exact term, aloe soap. All right, it'll, it'll, it'll show you the ASIN, the brand number. Um, that's interesting. Yardley, reminds me of mine, like, so that they like put, could be just Bradley right here, I don't know. But anyways, Yardley right there. Um, and you can see the title, the category, again, who's got the buy box, uh, the number of sellers who are selling it, the kind of buy box, you know, in other words, is it an FBA? Is it shipped and sold by Amazon? Or what we're seeing now a lot, you know, in the last few months uh, for coronavirus, more and more sellers are actually using fulfilled by merchants. So you'll see MFN right there. 
you'll see the price, the FBA fee, and then the key for me is the estimated sales. You know, we have an algorithm that can, you know, we're not hacking in people's accounts. This is not exact numbers, but we have a, a highly accurate algorithm that can estimate how much these products are selling uh, on a monthly basis uh, for the last, for the previous 30 days. Uh, throughout, throughout the rest of this Chrome extension, if you scroll right, we've got other things such as, you know, the, the current BSR, uh, the review rating, how many reviews they've had, the, this one right here, review velocity, you know, shows how many reviews they've had in the last 30 days. We even get down and dirty so that you could see, well, is this a, considered a large item? Is it oversized? Um, and then the one that I personally like the best, which is, is fairly unique, is uh, the, the in number of images. So like, for example, th this right off the bat kind of jumps out to me uh, that if I was looking at this, you know, regardless of search volume or sales or anything, these are the kind of things I like to see when I'm doing my product research, you know, is, a is like multiple listings on the first page who are obviously doing well, but they only have like one or two or three images. To me, that, that could be a sign of opportunity because, you know, any experienced Amazon seller knows that you need as many images as you want. So if, if you come on a page and you see a whole bunch of sellers doing well with only one image, they, their listing probably is not that great either. And hey, could, could uh, indicate opportunity. So that's uh, X-Ray. Let me zoom out here. Uh, we have other tools on this page called Async Grabber. I won't get into that, but this, that's part of the Chrome extension as well. It just gives a little bit uh, more higher level information than X-Ray, and it goes out all the way to like the second or third page usually. When you're actually on a page, like let me go to, let me just go to this page. I hope I didn't click on a sponsored ad and cost somebody $2 right there. Uh, if that's your product, I'm sorry for somebody. Uh, but once you're on the page, you're going to see other kind of uh, graphs that will come up that will show, you know, right here. This obviously is not on your regular Amazon page, but it comes up once you have the Chrome extension installed and you're able to see things like uh, BSR and, you know, the, the price history. So, like, I can go back 24 hours. I can even go back all time uh, where we've detected it. So, I can even see that, wow, this product looks like it started around, what is this? Uh, in, wow, 2015. So, this product's been selling since 2015. I can zoom in, like, how did they do from January to, to uh, June of 2017, all right? All right, let me, let me just keep going here. And if you see here, right here, this is what I love. Like, let's say you have your own um, aloe soap, and you're, like, thinking, hmm, uh, I've researched some keywords, uh, but I am very curious as to – what, uh, what strategy they're using? Like I, I, I identified the term aloe vera. Like do they use it like, how many times do they use it in their listing? Or uh, where, what parts of the listing do they use it? Watch this, I'm gonna hit this button here, listing optimizer. And I'm not sure how experienced you are in Helium 10, but whenever I show this to people, they didn't even know that we had this uh, available. Maybe you do already, but maybe I you know used a lot the graph, of but I didn't know that it had all this other thing. All these. How about other this? Things. Did you know that I could just click one button and now I have their listing right here in Scribbles? I did not know that. Ah, all right, cool. I got to, I got to show you something new. So, like for example, I let's say I could have had a uh, aloe soap, aloe vera. What what's another like thing that you would think is very organic aloe phrase for this niche? Um, I mean those are the two big ones right there. So, but you can put like organic aloe. Organic aloe, okay. All right, so obviously you'd have a lot more keywords here, but now I could actually see from their front end, you know, we can't like hack into their back end of their listing, but I could see, wow, this obviously is something, if this, is, if, this, if this guy was one of the top sellers, I'd be like, okay, look how many times he has aloe vera eight times in his listing. You know, so he must have some kind of data that shows it's very important to, to have that multiple times throughout his listing, that exact phrase is actually in there eight times. Organic aloe, that was the one that you brought up. That's actually mentioned three times, you know, in the front end of his listing. He mentioned soap 15 times, you know, in his listing. But it's just a, a quick way to get a glance at how kind of the structure of, of their listing. So that was just one click that I used directly from here in the Chrome extension. Yeah, like the a thing good that I love, density indicator. I'm sorry? A good keyword density indicator. Absolutely. 
Absolutely. Now on this product, are there multiple sellers here? No, there's not multiple sellers here, but like, let's say, you know, you, people are doing a wholesale and they want to, they want to see, well, how, how many units left does the uh, seller have in stock? It would have populated all the different sellers right here. And it would tell me like, wow, uh, I'm not going to wait out this guy. If I'm a wholesale seller, he's got a thousand units, more than a thousand units in stock left. All right. Um, it could be used by private label sellers though. Let's say this is my product. This is my aloe vera soap. And I know I don't wholesale this out to anybody. Uh, all of a sudden sellers are popping up on my listing. Well, <clears throat> I would run inventory levels and then, um, and then what, what I would do is I'd be like, wait a minute, if they only have like one or two units left in stock, I probably think it's not worth my time. Probably it's just somebody who bought it and they changed their mind. They're just reselling it. But then if I saw some random seller here selling like 300 units of my product, I'd be like, whoa, wait a minute. This is obviously counterfeit product or something. I, I got to do some investigation. So it's just a little, uh, <clears throat> you know, it's just a little something that uh, can, can give sellers some insights. And then the last thing in the Chrome extension is review downloader, where it's going to go and uh, allow me to analyze what are the common uh, phrases that are coming out in the, in the review. So he here's all the reviews right here. I could download them if I wanted to, just like the, the name of the tool says. But what I love is I hit analysis and it sh shows me the top two, three, four, five word phrases that people are using in the reviews. And a lot of times you're going to get some some insights so you could see a lot of people love this soap but then i would see wait a minute very sensitive what's you know why, why is everybody saying very sensitive so let, let's just click on this and we'll see all the reviews where somebody said very sensitive and i can see here i have very sensitive skin very sensitive skin very sensitive skin so like now all of a sudden i have this insight that a lot of the people using this have sensitive skin and as you can see they seem to love it so Sensitive skin is not something that maybe would have come up in keyword research. You know, maybe it could have, but the word by itself definitely wouldn't have. You know, nobody types in sensitive skin and thinks that uh, an exact, you know, specific product is going to come up. You know, they, they would type in maybe, you know, aloe soap or, or what the product is. So what this insight gives to me is when I'm making my, my images, let me see if they did something like it. Nope, they did it. So, so, so th th this is exactly my point here. This is, uh, you know, obviously Aspen K Naturals probably doesn't, isn't a Helium 10 uh, member because they're not even looking at their own listing. But if, if one of the top things that people are saying about my own product or my competitor's product is about how great it is on sensitive skin, you better believe I'm going to have an image that really highlights that, you know, that, that says, hey, you know, sense, this is great on sensitive skin. Uh, let me see, do they do it here? No, they, they don't even do it here in the bullet points. That would be like one of my top bullet points. Like I would like make a question mark, uh, you know, do, uh, are you, do you have sensitive skin or something? And then boom, that's going to get the attention of my target market. And I'm not guessing on that because I have clear proof that people who use this product have the concern of sensitive skin. So again, there's just another insight that, uh, that you can get there. Yeah, that, that was gold because I do that with, I, I, when I write my copy for our listings, I go through the reviews of other competitors and even my own listings. And that just saved me probably 20 minutes of work, if not more. Awesome. Awesome. Yep. I hope you enjoyed this training and walkthrough of the Helium 10 tools. We have a couple more videos on how to use Helium 10's tools and also how to do Amazon keyword research down in the description down below. So make sure you go check those videos out. We also have a complete SOP that accompanies this video. So check that out down in the description down below too. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to this channel and hit the little bell to be notified whenever we come out with great videos just like this one.